Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf your one and only, and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So, I'm going to be doing something pretty interesting. I'm going to be reading along with these books that I find. If you guys know any locations of the books that I don't have or missed over, if you guys don't see a video of it, then just let me know its location and I'll find it. We're going to be doing a read along. So you guys are going to be reading with me through all of this. And I'm just going to make each book its own little episode. So let's get into it. Vera's Melancholy 1. Endless days and infinite worlds. There are times when I think to myself, there's nothing to do in this tiny town. What a dull place to live. This wasn't the first time that Vera complained about her hometown, the small country village of Delphi. Her frown eased slightly as she lay on the hillside near the village, eyes closed, feeling the breeze of the early summer. Then where in this world would you not consider dull? Her buddy Sachi asked curiously. Vera sat up and leaned forward. I believe on the other side of this starry sea is a planet inhabited by gods who can answer all prayers and wishes. And everyone bearing a wish is on a journey to get there. I believe in our universe. There is currently a world constantly in war against Doomsday, where the noble and elegant souls of the 14 Valkyries burn bright, if only for a brief but magnificent moment. You've been reading too many of those weird fantasy novels, but this village really is dull. When was the last time anything fun happened here? Funny you should say that. A new family did move into our village recently. Novelty and fun aren't the same thing. Despite what she said, Vera decided to pay a visit to the newcomers. Sachi, however, remembered his family rules and walked back home for dinner. Vera gave the door to the newcomers abode a gentle push. Much to her surprise, it wasn't locked. Anybody at home? No sooner had the words left her mouth, the living room cupboard doors flew open and out jumped a black-haired boy wearing glasses. He was followed by a tentacle of blue slime. Make way! Tall! Why did you let a stranger in? The black-haired boy gently pushed Vera out of his way and picked up an axe by the door. You leave me no choice. Since you have seen everything, there's only one thing for it. Thus began the biggest crisis of Vera's life. All right, that is the end of Vera's Melancholy 1. If you guys actually enjoyed this or if you guys have just been too lazy to read it yourselves, do leave a like and show some support. And I will continue to do this as long as, you know, there's support behind it. But I got to say, Vera seems like she's getting into some trouble. <laughs> I can't wait to see how book two goes. But let me know how you guys feel about book one down in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.